All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. That means we're using Blue Eyes, and we are also once again joined by Rennie. Ow! I'm going to allow Rennie to play the Blue Eyes, because whenever I play it... You fail. I, I fail. Shit is just a fan. Terrible luck with this deck, so... Oh, no, thank you. I'll just allow Rennie to play with it. This should be the final Blue Eyes uh, on Daily Duels, unless you guys want it back for another month. Uh, yes, the January uh, deck selection shall be going up the video. You guys can go ahead and suggest some decks, and then slap them in the poll. You, you guys know. All it's right. that time of the month. Yep, it's that time of the month, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Real very anyway, gross. also, there's another reason why I allow Renny to uh, duel, is because uh, when I want to focus on talking, because uh, this is a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. So uh, I, I know I've said it at least a plenty of times that uh, uh, a previous teammate, I would say. Uh, I allowed his girl, and keep in mind, I don't like this girl. You should say names because we don't like their bitch asses anyway. We should say names. That's so mean. So what? Dude. Okay, finish, tell the story, and then just do you guys let's decide <laughs> should we, should we, should we blast them on. Anyway. Go, ahead, go ahead, finish your story. All right. His girl. Uh, I, I went to uh, tournaments previously with them two. Uh, you know, they went to locals. We went to Utah t together twice. Twice. And, uh, you know, she was new into Yu-Gi-Oh. She had Madoches. And she, of course, was attempting to enter into these tournaments, but she didn't really have a side deck. You know, she didn't have a side deck. She had a main deck. She wasn't that good, and that knowledgeable of the game. Of course, uh, give give them that. <coughs> you don't need it. So, <clears throat> being the nice guy that I am, and uh, like I said, the, this guy previous to uh, to getting with this girl, he used to be like one of the coolest guys I knew. Like. He was the straight up dude. Like, he was a playboy. He was cool. He was funny. He was great to get along with. He he was the guy that inspired you to be cool. He got with this girl, and I don't know. I guess her freaking her pussy was golden because he totally changed. He, hello, Mermel. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm done. Just go. Go ahead. All the water. Uh, he changed. He changed. And you know some some guys they get they get whipped like that. They get super whipped. You know. And it's a damn shame that he actually turned out to be one of those guys that uh, turned out to be whipped like that. So, uh, like I said, he got with this girl, and she was trying to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! As much as a girl can, of course, playing the obligatory female deck, you know, whether... It be... He put the quotation marks on there. For all y'all bitches that say any sexist, he put the quotation marks up. I mean, I'm not being sexist. I'm, there's just patterns. When a girl plays Yu-Gi-Oh! There's just generally, like, a handful of decks that girls generally play, and... It just happened to be that uh, Madoches are definitely one of them, so uh, she she wasn't that good at the deck, but I allowed her to, of course, borrow some of the cards that I had in my side binder. I didn't really have a trade binder, it was a side binder, and you're probably wondering, what happened to it, that side binder? Oh, we just threw it in a binder and just got rid of the nice majority of the cards, like, they're, they're gone. But it was pretty much a side binder, and in the side binder, uh, wow, so you had the Dragoons, Pitch Dragoons, bounced you, and got that uh, Dragoons effect. Mm. And uh, in that side binder, I had things like Fire and Ice Hand, of course. And some versions of Madoches, you do play Fire and Ice Hand. So uh, I let her boss on Fire and Ice Hands for her Madoches. Uh, of course, what's it? What do you play in Madoches? Hand traps. You know, I at the time was not using my Maxis, so I allowed her to borrow them to so my uh, Super Rare Maxis playset from the tin. Uh, they weren't m m worth much back then, but now they're like twenty bucks each. And the piece of resistance and the whole dispute, my secret rare playset of anti spell perkins. And I knew that this card was in it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I knew that this card was going to go up in price and play. So when they were like four or five dollars for the secret rares, I picked them up. I picked up a playset. Now those cards are like what? 30 bucks? Yeah, 30 bucks. Yeah. 30 bucks. So. Uh, I let her borrow those two. You know, they weren't the best cards aside. This was uh, back in uh, and uh, previous format, not this current format with uh, Cosmos, but the previous format with Necros and Cleaves and all that. Uh, that format. So it wasn't the best side cards, but it was better than nothing. It was better than just having no side deck. So I was like, sure, you can go ahead and borrow them. And she did. She did. She. But the thing is that she really didn't enter. She didn't enter until the next time where she asked to borrow them again. Uh, long story short. I also borrow cards. We are a, a team, and of course, teams, you share cards, you allow people to use your cards, you use their cards, and wow, so the song strike got you. Can you not, can you only special number one? Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. So, 
Keep talking. <laughs> I'm just trying to pay attention oh, to the bill no, too. No, no, that's my job. Keep talking. <laughs> Uh, when I when I last time I went to Utah, I borrowed a handful of cards. I borrowed a playset of mistakes and all that. But even though I wasn't really into playing the Yu-Gi-Oh, I made sure that I returned my cards. Of course, of course. <laughs> I made sure that <laughs> I returned the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I borrowed. Those two on the hand did not return the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they borrowed. And um, you know, till this day, I still do not have my uh, uh, maxis and uh, interest preference. I'll continue the story. Gonna do a bear back. Little. All right. So, what was I? Oh, they didn't give my cards back. They didn't give my cards back. You know, it's supposed to be part of the team. Uh, now, I'm not sure if I ever talked about this, but there was a lot of drama the second time with the Utah trip. Uh, mostly my fault, but eh, I, I'm not sure if I talked about it or not. Mm, but it, not that I know of. Uh, pretty much. Of course, of course. That's you don't want to get this deck. Uh, pretty much. There were supposed to be, I, I can't remember the specific amount, but we have one person over. One person over was invited because, of course, our friend, uh, Mr. Ryan, you guys know Ryan. You know, I can I can, I can, can go ahead and say Ryan's name. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, two draft league winner, team ninja, all that. He miscounted. I do not know, I'm not sure if he didn't count himself or something or nothing, but literally, I think either the day before or the day of <laughs> that we were supposed to, we were going to go to the Utah trip the second time. Uh, we had a person to over. So it was debated in questions like, mm, all right, who should go on this trip? You know, who, who should uh, go ahead and stay? Uh, and I I was being, I, I, I'd say I wasn't being biased, but I was being a little bit biased. Just because of set precedent, I suggested the one that stay would be the guy's cards in the bar, his girlfriend. And the reason why I said this, I'm not not being sexist, not being a jerk. I, I don't like her, but I don't hate her either, you know? I wouldn't go to the extreme of just being like, oh, no, you know, I'd say, you know, if you do that, he's just going to negate with Apex. Oh, you got, no, you got Strike. All right, yeah, it works. So, you know, he's just going to negate that. Go ahead, negate that. I'm not a noob. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he let you do it. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> oh. Fuck! Damn. Fuck, go ahead. Oh, wow. Uh. Fuck! Uh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he talking? Ugh. The previous time, like I said, this was the second Utah trip. The first time where I let her borrow all these cards and stuff like that, she did not enter. At all. She didn't enter. I don't know. She had some kind of excuse. Oh, my head hurts or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't care. She didn't enter. We took her all the way to Utah, all the way to this trip for her to not play Yu Gi Oh! And it's like, you know, you came here to play Yu Gi Oh! You can get your little lovey-dovey getaway with your boyfriend on your own time. This is for Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh trip. So what are you doing? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so I suggested her. I suggested she stay because she didn't enter last time. Why do you think she's going to enter this time? She didn't get a new deck. She didn't. Nothing's changed. It's only been, like, I'd say a couple months. So I suggested her. And this blew up in her face. So I, I was like, I'm going to get the opinion of the boyfriend. I want to know his opinion. So I asked, I messaged him on Facebook, and I was like, hey, you know, we have one too many people over, uh, it's discussed, and, and we're deciding, uh, considering everybody, uh, what do you think about maybe having your girlfriend stay? I was talking to him. He thought it was smart to go ahead and tell her that we thought that she should stay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. And then I'm like, dude, what the hell? He's like, oh, oh. Well, of course I'm going to share everything with her. Like, <laughs> like, oh my god. So, <laughs> uh, so you're going to go ahead and target him, especially with the last one in your hand. Mm -hmm. That works. So, this literally, this drama blew up. I wasn't in the same car. There were two cars. I wasn't in the same car. And it really wasn't revealed that I was the mastermind of this planet until literally it blew up to extreme proportions. Like, extreme proportions. To the point where I think before we left, there was some drama where, you know, uh, this guy and Ryan were about to beef it up. They were about to throw down right there in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the driveway. She's crying. And, you know, she's like, oh, do you not like her? Like, no, I don't like her. I'm not going to say it to her face. But, no, I don't really like her, you know. But I wanted to hurry up and get the trip going, you know. I didn't want this all this drama. So I'm like, sure, yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's cool. I like her, sure. You know, let's get going. And you think that that'd be the end of it. But nah, nah, nah. So, like I said, I was in a different car than them. 
there was drama in that other car the entire time. They were salty. The, the salt was filling the car. It, it, it was so salty up in that car that they were giving the ocean a run for its money <laughs> with the salt. <laughs> the salt content. <laughs> <sighs> it's almost salt. You would think they were making curly fries. <laughs> I don't even know what they were making. So, <laughs> so it didn't. It didn't get to. It got to that point where you know it's just gonna play the odd eyes, uh, uh, <laughs> and go ham on you again. It depends on the deck. The plays aren't done. He has a skill set up and all that next deck. You're gonna get it. You're, it's not over. Oh. Okay, so as long as he doesn't just the auto fusion you, then you're good. <laughs> I always forget about that fact, the dragon spirit effect. If only I had a camera right now. <laughs> 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 dancing it up. I'm dancing up a star, man, because like, I finally fucking blew eye spirit and a fucking pendulum luck. I never do it. Never happens. Finally did it. Now he's sitting there like, I can only put a summon once. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> mm. I remember. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. He's talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> so drama all the way there even drama there we literally i think it was i can't remember what night it was one of the nights where it was literally like 12 to 2 in the clock in the morning we, everybody standing outside the hotel room yelling up a storm arguing about what the hell went on you know so of course i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and take the front took the front apologized we were like is everything cool is everything cool no, I, I don't know I, I feel betrayed i think i'm gonna just quit the team and quit the team like if, if, if you're so fragile, and the, oh, well, you don't like our relationship? No, I don't like your relationship, but why does that matter? You know, that's exactly what I said. No, I don't like your relationship, but why does that matter? It shouldn't matter. If, if you're so, if you're so freaking uh, not confident in your relationship, then why are you together? What the hell is he doing? I'd say, there's no such thing as a water on it, so I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, I have no but idea. Go ahead. Talk it, bro. So. Ooh, <laughs> oh, blue eyes spirit too strong gets Penji, baby. <laughs> Penji, these nuts, nigga. Ooh, it tastes so good. Mmm, you're so. Mm. All right, we'll get another oh, one. BRB. Yep. So, like I said, we stood out there for hours. We got everything off our chest, supposedly. You know, I'm I'm pretty emotionless, but you know, and I'm a man. He's not really. I'm a man. I mean, he, he, he was getting emotional just with her, too, you know? He's like, man, grow some balls. You know, everybody was, had, every every man at that conversation had, you know, just the, the straight face. Just the straight face. He, those two were the ones that were welling up and starting to cry. <laughs> Pathetic. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at this point, we're like, all right, everybody got everything that they got off their chest, right? We're good. Everybody fine, right? No, apparently not. They continued their saltiness that... Throughout, you know, after this uh, talk, uh, on the way home, the saltiness remained to the point where after we came back from the trip, I didn't really contact anybody uh, from the team or whatever. I could add and play Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life for a cool minute. Like I said, it's been a cool minute since I went to locals or anything along those lines. Uh, next to I here is Sebastian Quist. Oh, said his name. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll say it since you don't want to. Sebastian, you a bitch. <laughs> he quits the team. I, and him and his girl quit the team. So when I hear about this, I'm like, oh, well, why you quit? You know, I thought everything was solid. And, you know, Ryan tells me apparently not. Apparently, again? Is this the same guy? Or? No, it's a different guy. Oh. It's a different guy. I, I guess everybody's just on this deck's dick. Mm -hmm. Hard. I'm already sick and tired of this deck. Me to too. Tell you the truth. That's uh, why I don't play it anymore. You know. I haven't auto this deck and I just don't play it. <laughs> everybody's playing it. Everybody and their mother. I mean, I still gotta play it on daily duels, but after that, if it gets taken off after the January, then I'm done with it. I won't touch it again. Anyway, back on topic. So they quit. They quit. Uh, I was actually subscribed to his YouTube channel and I saw him upload a video where he said that he's joining a new team, which is kind of odd because uh, his channel was literally based on. Uh, the team you know it was like it was like his t channel name and then like at the end was like the anagram so you know t team team ninja and then he changed it to, to the other team i was like okay whatever so you just got someone to blow from your deck it's not the end phase oh then what is it what's going on i don't even know i have no oh no that's keeper. oh it's keeper that's keeper, keeper. <laughs> i was like what <laughs> <laughs> keeper too strong keeper too strong <laughs> so 
of course, with him quitting the team, that's fine and all. I mean, even if you quit the team, I would like to get my cards back. I have you on Facebook. I don't have your cell phone number, but I have you on Facebook. I messaged him on Facebook, and I was like, hey, you know, do you think you could uh, go ahead and, uh, I would say, you might want to summon regular glass. Yeah, I'm going to summon regular, because I know I, like, exactly. I play Clear Wing too. Like, the fuck <laughs> yeah. yeah, I play Clear Wing too. <laughs> you think you could uh, go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, get in contact with the girl, or I mean, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're still together or like not, uh, like that or not. But uh, all I know is that you have a way of getting in contact with her. Do you think you give me my cards back? You said I'll try. Oh right, yeah, sure. Never message me back on Facebook concerning that. He loves to just send me fake cards. I guess he assumes that we're still best friends and all. But when it comes to getting my shit back, nah, nah, nothing along those lines. Yeah, you get the keeper. Dragon was killed on the field. Shit, didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was on my side. No, of the it's a dragon period. I know because mm -hmm. it was actually I was actually doing a mirror match and that mm -hmm. happened. I killed one of his dragons and keeper's like, hey, you know, dragon got killed. Like, okay, keeper, sure, <laughs> that's <Sure>. fair. <laughs> so now you can just go ahead. Oh no, you're normal summon this turn. Right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm still just gonna send white. Uh, send white, revive it. Oh yeah, I can send another dragon type. That's cool. Uh, do, 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 do
Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, that first attack. Oh, I can do it now. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. Oh, when you attack oh, okay. during damage calculation. Oh, didn't yeah, I forgot that effect. Yep. Hmm. That's a that's a powerful effect. Look at all that. Look at all them ranks on the field. <laughs> so one of Marcus's oh 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 you know what? Fine. I can say Marcus. People mm -hmm. always ask me that. They're like, oh, isn't his name Leon or isn't his name Kelly? His name is Marcus. <laughs> Marcus Leon Brown. Alright, people? Damn, like I said. I know freaking Marcus slash Cali effect more than what <laughs> than a good majority of you subscribers. Mm -hmm. I've known this man for years. I met him when I was like 13. So yeah, years. And he's always been that kind of guy. Always been that kind of guy. There's, there's a reason why I don't associate with him when it comes to channels. No. Anyway, off topic. One of his, his lackeys messages me, takes a picture, sends me on Facebook, and he's like, hey, these look familiar. Three secret rare anti-spell fragrances. Okay, all right. I messaged him that, and I was like, yeah, they do. Did you get them from Sebastian? Of course, he's not gonna admit that. So he's like, he's like, ah, I don't know. I remember where I got them. So yeah, so Mr. Mr. Uh, Sebastian took my cards and then sold them, gave them away as if they were his, something, whatever. The point is, is that he, <laughs> he got rid of my cards that aren't his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, next time I see him, you know, I, when I went down to the locals, I made sure to state, like, if, if he ever comes down here, uh, this is the last door, this is the last door, I'm almost done. Uh, whenever he comes down here, make sure you call him and tell, call him, tell me. And, uh, I think, I think he might have to catch these hands. Cause... Oh, catch my hands? Fuck you mean. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm a very pride-oriented person. Like, if someone lets you use something, especially if you're supposed to be on the same team, you could always just give it back to him. Even if you guys weren't friends anymore, it's a team. There's got to be, like, I know there's at least six of you guys, or four, you know? He could have gave it to somebody else, like, here, this is Daniel's cards. Give them back to him. I don't want to talk to him. I, we're, we're not friends anymore. Just please give him back his cards. Done deal. And you would have got it back. But the fact of the matter is that you're going to be a bitch and go behind people's back and then try to sell them off and shit like that and, and thinking that nobody's going to find out. We have eyes everywhere. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. And I hope you listen to Sebastian so I can beat your ass anytime, any place. And I swear to God, if I hear anything about your bitch ass, it's on. Like I said, if you're watching this, Sebastian, hit me up on Facebook and uh, we'll set up a time where you can go ahead and give me my cards back. Mm -hmm. And it won't have to get to this because uh, you know, we can just go ahead and beat that ass and mm -hmm. take your cards. So it's up to you. <laughs> In real, the choice is yours. <laughs> and if you think I'm playing, try me. Try me. You I have would, you, you, you you have you have Daniel's number. You have his Facebook. You think I'm playing? Try me. Don't try. Try try, try me. I, I want you to. Go no. ahead. <laughs> so there, are people. I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up, but I've already brought up the drama. So there's, there's the drama. He literally has over a hundred dollars worth of cards. Yeah, you know, but uh, the the Fire Nice hands probably weren't much, but the Maxis and the Antarctic Power fragrances. That's over a hundred dollars exactly. right there. And mm -hmm. I, you know. I, I would like him back. I really would. You know, sure, I'm not really playing you guys like that, but they're still it's mine. The, it's the principle. It's the thing. principle. It's the principle thing. I let you use something of mine. You have to. You should have the balls to give it back. If y'all think we're over exaggerating, let me know in the comments, because I personally don't think we are. <laughs> I know. Uh, if you would have handled it a different way, let me know in the comment section below. Go ahead, tell me what you would do, and tell me if you think it's wrong or not, because everybody has a different opinion. To some people, this might not be a big deal, but to me, it's the principle of the thing. Let me know what you think. All right. So. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. The duels are good. Randy Hell yeah. Some W's. Woo! Spirit too strong. Suck it, Penji. <laughs> See, why can't I get good like that? <laughs> it's because you don't believe. Seriously, whenever I play this deck, I never get gospel. I never get gospel. It's like I don't even play. It's like, where the fuck are my gospel? And you play three of it. Exactly. Yeah, really. like, gospel's so good. Mm -hmm. I never fucking get it. Like, terrible. I'm glad you, you do it with it. So, like I said, the polls are going to be up. Uh, link will be in the description. You go ahead and go. I mean, wait, no. <laughs> Not the polls yet. Hold on, we gotta step before that. Yeah. Deck suggestions. You guys gotta suggest some decks. Then we go to the polls. So it should all be uh, steps should be taken for this week, and then next week we should go ahead and do deck profiles and uh, decks. So if you guys want blue eyes for another week, then you guys gotta vote for it, and mm -hmm. guys, they got to win uh, one of the three, the top three in the yeah. polls for singles. Or if you want another tag, you can also uh, it'll be on tag as well if you want it as a tag. Uh, vote for it, and yeah. Let's we'll get another month, but if not, then I'll go ahead and give you that deck profile and we'll move on. Yeah, put some good, unique decks at the bottom, some some nice shit, like Zombie, Skull Servant, or some shit like that, something nice. Don't put no crappy shit on here. They'll probably put, they'll put whatever they want. Uh, I'm saying, don't put no crappy shit on here. 
So, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow, ironically, with Time Jump Editions. <laughs> Always. Suck it, Pangees. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.